Welcome to Burn the Ship, the podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to go all in on their business and connects them with professionals that can help them do that. Today, we have a very special guest. We have Nosheen with Easy Sales Automation. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course, of course. We're always looking to uh, hear from entrepreneurs on you know, what's been going on inside of their business and what has got them to where they are. So we truly appreciate you coming on today. So uh, for the audience, uh, go ahead and tell them a little bit about yourself, um, you know, who you are, your story, and, and how you've gotten to where you are now. Yeah, so my story began when I got fired, <laughs> let go, back in 2004. Um, so I was let go of my job due to my health reasons. And uh, I had this big, you know, title, this big corporate title that would just wrap around my, you know, visiting card and pay, pay was good, bonuses, commissions. I mean, just, I just had it all, right? Little do, <laughs> did I know that it could go like in a second. I, you know, I had uh, back, backache issues and that went from bad to worse and just kept deteriorating. And then I just, all of a sudden, one day, just lost my job. They were like, okay, you go home, just rest, take care of your back. You know, basically, we'll hire somebody else to do the job. Um, so that kind of led me to think, uh, put on my researcher hat. And I started just typing random searches online. Like, how can I work from home? Like, how can I... I didn't even know what to call it, like working from my bed, working while laying down. Like, I just didn't even know how to start my research, you know, in this uh, um, area. And then um, I was like, let me just start with what I already do, which is uh, I was a senior uh, loan officer, I'm sorry, lean, a senior mortgage loan processor. And so I was like, let me just start something typing like similar words and then I realized that yes there are you know things that I could do while from home get a payoff and call and make these just while not moving from my bed right and then came the time that I was like so who's gonna hire me right and that is when I was like okay so I need to have a social or an online presence like offline I'm just this I have this big title and I have like tons of experience and I did I mean my resume was full of you know these these corporate jobs that I did but online nobody knew me like nobody there was this concept was a little new and then I um back in the day is when Upwork started it was Odesk and okay. I I stumbled upon the website I was like let me just start here it was it was like five people at that time. It was like brand new because Upwork started in 2004 as well, if I'm not mistaken, or Odesk. And I just made my account and I was like, I don't know if people are going to find me, but that was just one way for others to find me what I do, right? Um, I realized that nobody needed my you know, mortgage job because nobody was looking for that kind of work online they were all looking for like VA type jobs, like VAs this and, you know, spreadsheets and just copy paste this. And I was like, okay, let me just start. Right. So I applied to one and they were, you know, nice enough to give me the job without having any, you know, online experience. Mm -hmm. um, and here I was making $31 an hour in my corporate job. And these guys, I'm very, very thankful to them hired me for, 33 cents an hour cents an hour okay now that's a big difference that is huge that is just huge but in my mind I'm building my my profile my online profile right so I was like I'm just gonna do it for maybe a month or two just for testimonial just see how you know I just wanted my foot in the door okay and um, yes I worked for like two months yeah and I made like seven dollars a week. Okay. Okay. I, again, again, it was very discouraging. And back in the day, I did not tell anybody that I'm going to pay 33 cents an hour. I was yeah. like, no way. So they, everybody thought she's still doing like the research or trying to figure things out. 
And then again, I wasn't even sure if this was going to work anyway, but at least that 33 cents an hour job led to another job, which was a, a dollar 50, like $1 and 50 cents. I was like, okay, good. And that was like a small fixed job. And then the next job was $3. And then the next one was five. And it, it just started running. And yes. within eight, eight months, I was back to 24 an hour. So I was like, okay, I made it. I made it. And then within 12 months, I made six figures my first year. Oh, excellent. I, I was, so it did not take me one year to reach the six figure. Of course, it took me three years. Okay. Um, for the longest time, I was in between like 50, 60, 70 K, but I did not get to the six figure mark. But after I started my online journey, three years into it, that's when I started making six figures per year. I just want to tell everybody, if you look at where I started, and look at where I um, where I got. It is so possible. It is so doable. Um, and then again, I mean, if I had given it up, I wouldn't be here today. And that those people who hired me for thirty three cents, I, yes, I may have hated them at that time, but I'm super grateful because that led to another, which led to another. They kept leaving me reviews. Okay, it was great working with her, and I was building my online profile. That's how it all started. Awesome. That is an awesome story. I share with people that I talk with all the time. You're going to pay one way or the other. You know, you're either going to pay by, you know, paying money. You pay through sweat equity and building what it is through experience. Yes. So it's one of those things where, yes, it was totally opposite from what it was that you were doing with a larger salary, but you were building a different set of skills at that time and you created an entirely different lane and we have to go through those things to get to where we are now and i see that journey has gotten you to your current business and endeavor of what you're doing if you don't mind share with us a little bit about what it is that you've created so this one is uh, again based on personal experience and I'm super super excited about it. I personally believe I could not do it. Let me just tell you this. I didn't think I would be able to do it. But necessity is the mother of invention, okay? And if I can do it, anyone can do it. What happened was that I launched another business um, that was 2 years ago. And this is the second or third time that I'm starting from scratch. When you start new, again, started from scratch from zero, okay? I launched and thinking I'll have people, I'll help them build their businesses. It was a total failure, like a total failure. And guess what made it a failure? All technology, all the integration, all the tech part or tech pieces putting together. That is what failed it because I had everything else ready, but one thing broke and then the other thing broke and I tried to fix it and it didn't get fixed for months. I'm not talking days and weeks, months. Trying to figure this out, okay, let me just do this. Then I had to buy another domain, try to start from scratch again. It didn't work, it did not. And I, I kept on at it for like six months, nope. And then I was like, you know what? Everybody's, everybody's uh, teaching strategy, everybody's teaching hacks and all that, um, nobody's, providing a solution of this technology, all this integration, all this uh, tech overwhelm that we have. Nobody's solving this, especially for women, I'll be honest. We are not tech savvy. Like we, we just want, give it to us and we'll pay for it, but don't make us do it because we have, you know, our plates are full with other responsibilities, mm -hmm. homes, kids, everything else, right? That's right. And then, and then all of us, or we, we have side businesses. So we're either working full time. This is our side gig. This will not, you know, this does not allow us to spend 30 hours a week on the side hustle. If we're wor working like 50 to 60 hours, full-time job, like who has time for that? <laughs> and that is what led to easy sales automation is everything. Everything is just done for you in a very systematic way. It makes it easy. It is automated, which brings in the sales um, automatically. So that is what, that's easy sales automation. 
Awesome. Awesome. Now tell me, is it where you had a technical background when you were looking to create this technical thing? Or is it something that you just found out? Did you have experience in coding and things like that before? That is a great question. A great question because people ask me this all the time. I don't have a background in technology. I don't have a degree. I just figured things out and I created it. Um, I, I did ask for help. I studied and created this for like good six to eight months. I was just fully uh, focused on this. My, my degree is in uh, English literature. I have a master's in literature. That's like not even close to what I do. Like, right, right. so I do want to tell everybody, uh, you know, sky's the limit. Possibilities are endless. Don't, don't um, let anything, you know, stop you or make you think that you can't do this. If I can do this, and I, I'm, I'll be honest, coding is a guy thing. It's considered a guy thing. Uh, or building like a tech related business is considered a guy thing, right? I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not generalizing it, but that's just how it is mostly. And me personally, having no degree and my background was in mortgages, like in uh, uh, loans, right? So again, two separate fields. But um, when, you, when you have a problem that you try to solve for yourself, which is why my business failed or my launch failed because of the tech related issues. Now I created something that takes care of all the tech issues plus the integration part. Like it's just, you don't need to worry about it. That's the kind of thing that I uh, built. And I'm super proud of myself. I'm super excited about it because when, when somebody tests it, they're going to be like, so are you saying that I don't have to do anything? I am saying that. One, we have these tools, right? We have ClickFunnels, we have ActiveCampaign, we have Zapier. And then two, we're not only paying for those, we're paying experts or we're hiring experts to, to work on, uh, on these uh, tools, right? So we're paying double the amount and still something can happen and something can break and you still cannot you still need to figure it out. So that is the only solution I could come up with. Okay, okay, well, Without awesome. a degree. Well, listen, that's a great story to say that you were here in your industry, you had to trim the rose bush, and then it is growing back beautifully. You have this new business that you've created. And inside of Burn the Ship, we always try to share with our audience a specific skill that has helped you to get to where you are. If you had to share with the audience that skill that got you to where you are, what would you say that skill would be? So I wouldn't say it's uh, a skill. Mm -hmm. I would say it's uh, the will. The will. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, skill was skill will get you so far. But will will get you far, far away. Um, that exceeds. That just supersedes everything. It's the will. It's okay. not the scale. Yeah. Can, can you share with us an example of when you were trying to come up with the new you know, easy sales automation, when you had to utilize that will? Give us a story of what one of those times that you had to overcome something and your persistence or your will pushed you through to the next step to get to that next step. Do you have a story you could share with us about how you overcame something? Um, it's The story is, is like for eight months, out of eight months, four months is I, I did not leave a single YouTube video on it to figure it out, to learn it. I did not, and I followed people. I noted and documented their journey like how I'm going to do this without technical background, without experience, just based, based off of my failure as when I was launching. And I know I have this issue. Everybody else, you know, a lot of people has the, they have this issue as well. So not only will I be solving my own problem, but other people's as well. So for four months, I kid you not, my kids were sick and tired of my, my YouTube videos that I was watching in my, in my feed, they're like, okay, when will you stop? Um, and I all, that's all I did. 
And uh, yes, I've had mentors. I've had people. I think they're um, sick and tired of me too because I was. Uh, I would ask these dumb questions. I'll be honest. If you only stop, uh, you know, just don't be afraid of asking dumb questions. You will get far, far away. Trust me on this one because no background, like nothing, right? And so imagine how my questions would be like a fifth grader would ask, right? Like, what does this mean? What do you, how do you do this? How do you do this? And then I had, I had paid people and they would say like, we'll do it for you, right? I was like, no, I need you to teach me. Oh yeah, that's right. Need, yeah, I need to see how you do it. And then yes, it, it's gonna cost me extra. It's gonna cost, it's gonna of course, you know, take more of your time, but I need to learn this. So for four months, I did not do anything but just building, like how I'm going to build this. Then I got people, I hired people. When you're asking questions, then when you're, you're uh, talking to the relevant people, you do find like-minded people who are a little ahead of you in the same industry. They helped me build this. Yes, I had to um, you know, pay for their expertise. I did not build it all by myself. I didn't think I could do it. But once I paid them, they taught me, now I know how to do it. That's how it went. So it's, it took me eight months. Well, that's awesome because I've done uh, plenty of these podcasts and I've had guests come on and say, hey, I've been great at communication. I'm great at marketing. I'm great at whatever other skill that it is. But having the will to give, get it done and not giving up is an invaluable skill that the audience needs to hear because yes, they have all of these challenges in creating a business, but that is something that a lot of them forget, you know, that you have to have the will to win. And we definitely appreciate you sharing that with us. Now, that was a, a good story about easy sales automation and how you got there. But I always like to bring it back to the human aspect of things. So let's just say easy sales has gotten a billion dollar evaluation and you're fine. You don't have to worry about uh, any of the money or any of those things anymore. What is it that you would say that you would do with your time if you didn't have to worry about the money and being directly into the business? What would you say? Um, I would say read books and um, appear in podcasts or videos or collaboration. I just love interviewing. I've done interviews myself. It just, I, I, I've learned so much from other people. So just collaboration like that and reading books. There's two of my two of my favorite things to do. If I didn't have a business to run, if I didn't have like a home to run, mm -hmm. I would just be reading or I would be just appearing or interviewing others. Okay. I just well, love this. Yeah. What would you say is your your favorite genre of book? Oh, self help and business. Totally. Self -help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we truly do appreciate you sharing those things. Now, one thing that I want you to share is how can people get in contact with you? What is the best way for them to get in contact with you? So I really want people to, I, I, wanna, I want people to take me on my challenge, okay? And, and uh, since Easy Sales Automation is just in its infancy, um, it's in beta, and I want people to take me on my offer. It's a $1 um, trial, that's it. And then when I say, you don't have to worry about, you know, any of the tech stuff, then let me prove it. It's, um, it will replace 15 plus um, tools that you currently use in your business anyway, all under one login, all under one dashboard, all on one, at one place, okay? And it's not like you're, you're logging into your funnel builder here, you're logging into your email responder here, and then you're logging into your invoice app somewhere else and then your emails inbox is separate and then you're logging into your social media for your dms to take care of and all that right it's all under one dashboard one place right i want people whoever are listening to me to so take me up on this challenge and let me see i mean and then it's in beta it, it helps me too it helps me um you know streamline processes it helps me uh, see where, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if the system or the tool is lacking some stuff, I want to know about it from real life examples when people are actually using it. And I am offering like a beta trial 
for one dollar anyway. So try okay. me up. Where would they go? They would need to go to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or where? Email yes, I'm available. Else? Yeah, I'm I'm on all of these. But again, okay. I would want them to go to easysalesautomation.com/beta. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now, as you know, the name of this podcast is Burn the Ship. And you have obviously burned your ship in moving towards the success of easy sales automation. Can you share why you believe it's important for our audience to burn their ship? Um, if you don't burn your ship, you're going to be drowning you're not going to reach your destination um, because you didn't burn the bridge. <laughs> you are going to be in too many places. You're going to be distracted. You will not go all in. And when you don't go all in, you won't know the problems or, you know, the issues that your business has or where to focus on. And so you're just wasting your time, the resources, money and everything. If it, if you're doing multiple things at the same time, I kid you not, people or, you know, my gurus, my mentors, I've said, I've heard them say this, that uh, go all in and focus on one thing, like one offer, right? And I was like, yeah, they can say it. I mean, I can have like multiple offers. I can do this, all that. It doesn't work. It does not work. And I've done this three times. Uh, I've burned it all and started from scratch. It is I can do it again too. And, and I do plan on, you know, having more businesses starting from scratch, right? But it's the knowledge, it's the journey that when you go through stuff, you realize what other problems you can solve. But if you're not in it, you won't know the problems and then you won't find the solution. And then of course you don't have a business. It's more of a hobby. Right, right. Well, awesome, awesome. We definitely appreciate you sharing your journey with us today highlighting the skill that has helped you to get where you are. So again, we truly do appreciate it. Today's guest, Nosheen Khan with Easy Sales Automation. Thank you so much for visiting with us today. Thank you, Roderick. It's been a pleasure having uh, me on this podcast. Thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you so much. And we'll talk with yeah. you soon. Absolutely. Thanks.